Today we are going to show you the unboxing and functionality of Sub-Zero Make Mega Chill Controller. This type of controllers are widely used to control chiller systems in HVAC industry. The main benefit of this type of controller is that you can control and monitor all equipment used in chiller such as compressor, condenser and water pumps. There are in total three types of Mega Chill controllers available. Mega Chill 1, used for one compressor setup. Mega Chill 2, used for two compressor setup. Mega Chill 3, used for three compressor setup. Today we have Mega Chill 2 which is a two compressor chiller controller. This integrates all the required functions of the chiller. Let's see the box content. Items included in box are as follows. 1. Toroidal Transformer System uses a highly reliable toroidal transformer as its power supply source. 2. Prokey This hardware key enables the chiller manufacturer to enter programming level 2 which is basically factory level programming. 3. Screws 4. Catalog 5. Japanese NTC thermistors housed in a waterproof IP68 metal casing with 1.5 meter of cable. 6. 2-meter telephonic communication cable. This chiller controller is very user-friendly due to the LCD provided which gives all the parameters, messages, alarms on the display. In addition to the LCD, there are LEDs provided for instant status on all controls in the system. Dimensional data of the controller is as shown in the image. All connections of the controller can be seen in the catalog, which comes with the controller. Now let's see the inputs and outputs of the controller. First let us see the analog inputs. It has various analog inputs such as Control, used as the main controlling probe based on which the set point will regulate the system. Condenser input, indicates condenser inlet temperature. Condenser output, indicates condenser outlet temperature. Water in, senses water, chiller, inlet temperature. Water out, senses water, chiller, outlet temperature. Antifreeze, used as an internal antifreeze control. Now let's see the digital inputs of the controller. It has various types of digital inputs available, please pause the video and check out all the digital inputs. Now let's see the output that are offered in this controller. This system can operate the following devices. First, chiller pump. Second, two set of compressors. Third, two set of condenser fan. Fourth, two set of liquid solenoid valve for pump down. Fifth, water solenoid valve. Sixth, alarm. Let's check out the Mega Chill keypad. This is the start key. Press and hold this key for four seconds to bring the controller in an operative status from the standby status, in which it normally is after being powered on except if H2 parameter is set to auto start mode. This is the stop key. Press and hold this key for four seconds to stop the system and operate in standby mode. This is the clear key. Press and hold this key for four seconds to reset HP, LP and antifreeze alarms which have been set for manual reset in case P4 parameter is set to manual reset mode. This is the mute key. Press this key for one second to disable the buzzer and alarm relay. This is the temp key. Press and hold this key for one seconds to display temperatures for all probes. Use up slash down key to scroll through the various probes attached. To exit this mode, press the temp key. This is the pump down key. Pressing pump down for 4 seconds forces a manual pump down cycle, if pump down parameter H1 is active. This is the PRG, SEL, up and down key. Used to enter and navigate in programming mode. Now let's see how to turn on and off the chiller. Press and hold the start key for 4 seconds, the unit will change from standby to working status. Unit can only be switched on when there are no errors. The first device to start is the water pump. Then, as required, Mega Chill will switch on the compressor and other devices depending on the setting. Press and hold the stop key for 4 seconds to switch the controller into standby position. The unit also turns off and moves to a standby position when there is an error status. There is wide range of settings and programming available in this controller. All can be seen in manual which comes with the controller. 
Some of the functions which are available can be seen in the video. Press SEL key for 4 seconds to enter the level 1 settings also known as user settings. It has various settings such as Main probe calibration AFT probe calibration Set point for comp 1 Set point for comp 2 And so on other settings can be seen. To enter the level 2 setting you should use the pro key. Insert the pro key as shown and then only you can enter the level 2 settings also know as manufacturer settings. In level 2 settings, as seen there are all options available that cannot be accessed in level 1 settings. Please check the manual for details of the every setting available. This was the overview and unboxing of Sub-Zero Make Mega Chill 2. Hope you liked the video. Kindly like, share, and subscribe.